RNA is a substance inside the cells that really acts as a messenger system. So it carries the code that tells the cells what proteins to make. RNA therapeutics is a really broad field where we take this recipe, which is RNA, and we can put it into the body to replace things that are missing, to add things that we need more of, and to train the body to fight against certain things like a piece of a virus in the form of a vaccine. RNA vaccines were initially designed um, as cancer therapies. RNA could be used in a sense that it would deliver a piece of the tumour antigen, which is present only in a patient who has the type of cancer, thereby eliciting an immune response against that particular type of tumour. You can set up the platform and then actually pivot to whatever disease or issue that you, you need in medicine and produce a pharmaceutical very, very quickly, and a safe pharmaceutical very, very quickly. New Zealand needs RNA technology for resilience. So the COVID-19 pandemic taught us that it's really important to be able to have the ability to rapidly, safely, effectively generate new vaccines. We could treat diseases that are really prevalent or more problematic in Māori and Pacifica populations, and we could treat diseases in animal health and plant, which are a threat to our national biosecurity. So this government investment will enable a highly collaborative research program across the entirety of New Zealand, research organisations and commercial companies, and it will be for the design, the production and the manufacture of RNA diagnostics, therapeutics and vaccines. South Pacific Sierra and Maligan have a very synergistic relationship. Maligan are experts in immunology and in the, in the research of the human body, whereas South Pacific Sierra is an expert in terms of production and production development. So we are able to work together to complete the pipeline from invention to implementation. What we've got here at the Maligan, but also more broadly across New Zealand, we do have lots of talented people working in the space and it's a matter of scaling it, bringing it all together and making it happen.